Next with Susie Fowler-Watt and Stuart White. In Look East tonight, crop campaigners dig in, warning of genetic pollution. Saved, counting the cash after Wembley defeat. And why the most famous coffee pot in the world has got two million people addicted. Hello and welcome to Tuesday's Look East. First tonight, campaigners... Are... It's time to join uh, Susie and Stuart for the rest of the day's news and I investigate the strange story of the coffee pot which has been transformed into a celebrity with more than two million people visiting Cambridge to have a look. Join me for an update after the news. You're watching Look East from the BBC. Coming up, crazy about coffee. Log on to view the brew. Now, if you thought watching paint dry was dull, then how about watching a coffee percolator do nothing at all? Every day, a thousand people log on to the internet to find out whether a coffee pot at Cambridge University is full or, well, not so full. More than two million people have done it so far and the numbers are still rising. Alex Dunlop has been surfing the net. Well, I've got my coffee, I've got my keyboard, so let's surf the net. I love coffee, I love tea. I love the Java Java and it loves me. The computer laboratory at Cambridge University, where the scientists love their coffee. It was so popular that they focused a camera on the percolator so that everyone in the building knew when a fresh brew was on. A year later, they gave it its own internet site, unaware that more than two million people would share their addiction. When we did this, it was one of the earliest, if not the earliest, cameras on the web. And it has gone from that novelty aspect to being of historic interest remarkably quickly. And I think perhaps on the web that can happen uh, much faster than anywhere else. Every three seconds an image is grabbed of the world's most famous coffee pot, the first live feed of an inanimate object. Its fame has filtered as far afield as Japan. <laughs> While the computer laboratory coffee pot is topped up, at a nearby cyber cafe, hundreds surf the net every day for what are known as webcam sites, where a static camera records everything and everyone that moves. Take a look at this. It's the St. Petersburg skyline, which is updated every hour, so you can see the weather each hour. And if you think a skyline is boring, take a look at this. This is a fish tank in California. Currently, not many fish flying around, but uh, a bit of seaweed there for you to look at. For the real voyeurs, there's always Jenny Cam, which is uh, something where a girl's got a cam in her room 24 hours a day. And there isn't much point to it once you've done it once. But just to have the ability to do it is something that was unthinkable even four years ago. And it's people just saying, here I am, come and look at me. But some webcam sites do find a purpose. This blurred shot of a bus stop in Colchester so captivated this American couple that they moved home to start a new life in Essex. Back at Cambridge University, scientists are confident that their humble percolator could prove to be the next Mr Bean. Alex Dunlop, Look East, Cambridge. <laughs> I must go and log on right now. Ivor, we have...